Awesome. Rip to any fish. That's exactly where I would expect one to be right now. The sun's coming out too. We're going to start out with this crankbait right here next to this bridge. Cast it up against that. Bring it back through this deep pocket and see where we can get. Looks really good in the water. So now we just need to find where the fish is at. Really glimmering in the water right now. I like that. Got a bunch of rocks on the bottom. A little bit of tug every now and then. I'm hoping this glare isn't unbearable on the camera. Gotta get the bait caster in the shot, Logan. God damn, bird nested already. Awesome. This is why bait casters are a cancer. I need to roll my sleeve up really quick to do this. Still gonna rip my hand though. Like how in the balls did that even happen? There we go. I think I might have just fixed it. By the way, shout out to GoPro chest mount for this video. So let's go ahead and get a like for the chest mount, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was not good. Fails brought to you courtesy of GoPro. Not sponsored. That was God. That was right on the wall. All right, we'll give this a few more tries. If we don't get anything good out of this, we'll go ahead and switch on over to a swim shad. I can see a bunch of little bait fish coming up to the surface right now. So I think that swim shad will work out really well. Bunch of shad here. If they don't hit this swim shad, I really don't know what they would hit ever. Alrighty, I'm switched off and now onto the shad. Well, fucking rip to any fish around me. I just fell in. Alrighty, first cast with the shad. Good spot. Just dragging the bottom right now. I don't even know why I get my hopes up. So not only am I bird nested like a motherfucker, I'm also hung in a tree. Oh my God. It came right over my head. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was terrifying. All right, it's time to rip my hands apart now. There we go. Got it, boys. Let's go. Not every day you get one of those. <laughs> Too bad there's another one in the way. Easy. Let's go. Bait casting 101. Well, that was just stupid. What the fuck is this, man? I'm really stuck on this log too now? Are you kidding me? What the fuck kind of shit is this? Oh, now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed. I better get this thing or I will be livid. How? Oh my God, if you guys would have seen how that was in there, you would have been pissed too. And now I'm bird nested again. Fuck me. Bait casting is big gay, but you can catch godfish. At least I can put bait casting in my tags though. That's great. We'll give her about three more. Oh my God, I sent that. Send it. No bites on the shad. Oh my God. There's a little turtle. Oh my God, that's the tiniest turtle. I have to catch that. Think of the clickbait. Please don't go under. Please don't go under. Please don't go under. I will catch you anyway. Can you guys see this little thing? Look at this. Look at this. He's so cute. Let's get him next to the bait caster for a thumbnail. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna let him go. Let's watch him swim away. There you go. Oh, he's so tiny. I should have used you as bait. All right, we'll give it two more casts, and then I think we're gonna switch spots. Alrighty, guys, I think we're gonna move on. And now I can walk as loudly as I want to, because I don't care about scaring fish anymore. Uh, broke my toe. I'm almost guaranteeing that's not how you put it on, but that's how it's going on. Looks good enough to me. Back at it again with the white shad. Bad idea. Do not skip a bait caster. Terrible, terrible idea. Don't even know why I tried it. I'm going to stand right here on this shelf and cast into this deep pocket that I know is right here and see if we can get a bite. Damn, I thought I had a bite. Well, that was good timing, because I wanted to change anyway, so. Awesome. She's safe, boys. I got her. All right, boys, it's crankbait time. So we're at the next spot, and you cannot tell me there's not a fish sitting in here next to all of these logs. I'm gonna try cast and see if I can find anything. Right next to that log. A lot of rocks there. Pretty shallow. Nothing doing. Let's move to the next spot over here. Try casting into this, I guess. A lot of bait fish right in front of me. It's a good sign. Well, there's food. There are bass. Just had a little bait fish attack this. That's crazy. It was at least four times smaller than my shad I'm using. Surprised there's not a fish sitting in this right here. I'm gonna go try this eddy over here in a second. All these rocks feel like bites always. <laughs> I 
I just saw that thing hit it. Well, that's a good sign. We'll bring it back through here really slow and we'll twitch it. I just missed a bite. I don't think it got it in its mouth. Lots of bait fish in here. Oh my God, there's a gar right there. I don't know if the GoPro got that. There was a gar right in front of me. Oh my God, I have to cast this. It was spotted. I've got to catch this thing. It was literally right in front of me. I didn't even see it. They blend in so well. I was wondering why there wasn't a fish in here. Probably because that gar is just chilling right here waiting for all these small fish to come in. Oh, I've got to move on. I'll probably never see it again. We probably moved on down. That is insane. I can't even believe I saw that. I hope you guys saw that too. Oh boys, first catch of the day. And she came off. All right, so we're leaving this fishing spot and going to the next. The only thing is, I parked my car about a mile away from where it's at right now. So I'm gonna have to climb through all this, then get out on the main road. Oh my God. Look at this. What am I supposed to do with this? R1, R1, R1. Oh my God, what am I doing? These people think I'm crazy. They're like, oh my God, is that a Sasquatch? Said I'm a motherfucking dreamer boy. I'm a dreamer boy. I like a girl that don't even fuck me, boy. That was a redneck beamer, boy. And we're up. I don't know if you guys can see all these insects right here on the top of the water. That's usually a really good sign that smallmouth are in the area. This right here, right here, is why me and baitcasters have a love-hate relationship. It's gonna take at least 20 minutes. That's my guess. We're at spot number four of the day, though. Under... Oh. What was that? I'm pissed. What just did that? It was like it had it. Oh, no, I'm livid. Anyway, we're at spot number four, so let's see if we can get anything done here. I'm gonna throw this about 15 more times. Another bird nest, by the way. But I'm gonna throw this about 15 more times, and then we're gonna switch over to the swim shad. All right, guys, five more casts, and we're calling it a day. We might not even make it to five. Are you kidding me? Awesome. Oh. Now, not only do I have to deal with this shit when I get home, I gotta pull this shot in back by hand. What if I caught a fish like this? I would die. That's awesome. Because honestly, I have no clue where that thing broke off. So that's gonna be really fun to try to fix. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in black. As you can see, we got the bait caster up and running again, but if you can't notice, or if you probably did, there's hardly any line on this. So I'll show you what that causes a problem with. You cast out about 10 feet and it jerks back because that's literally how much line is on it. It's kind of sad, but it looks like we're gonna go ahead and switch on over to the open face. I know I don't usually talk about this much, but today I'm using a five foot pole. It is a Zebco 33 authentic, authentic, 33 authentic, um, and it is a rod and reel combo. I think I got it at Walmart like years ago, but it's a little ultra light. Um, I think I have 10 pound test line on, so let's try not to catch any monsters. <laughs> I'm sitting at the same bridge I was at yesterday morning, but I just wanted to use the crankbait today and we'll see if we can get anything on it. I'm going to fish this area for probably a few hours. Uh, not, maybe I'll move spots from here. Uh, I don't want to stay in one spot for too long, uh, but I'm going to fish till about noon so it gets hot and then once it gets hot, fish aren't gonna be biting, they're gonna be in the shade anyway, so. But if we don't catch anything today in this river spot, we are gonna be going to a lake. So we'll be hitting up the lake later in the evening. Hopefully the fish will be biting then, and it's just got off a little bit of rain, so the ideal conditions are here. Four days without a fish. It's basically four days of my life wasted. But I thought I would mix it up, bring you guys something a little different. So I decided to come to Bass Pro. I'm not only gonna fish at Bass Pro, but I'm gonna get some more line from a bait caster because you guys know it's not, kind of non-existent at this point. I'm here about 15 minutes before opening. Um, that way I can fish in the morning at least. The pond that they have is just over there. So I'm gonna fish that today. We're gonna try some worms. We're gonna try some crankbaits. We're gonna try some crawls. We're gonna literally try everything that we can. But first, we gotta get some line. So let's go ahead and go do that.
technically not a bird nest, but not ideal for the day. There we go, back to normal. Wow, this crankbait feels amazing. Not too shabby for a little bait caster. All we gotta do is catch one now. Nothing doing. So we're gonna move down. Uh, gotta get the bait caster in the shot. There you go. I asked the guy who works at Bass Pro, who put on this line for me, how the fishing was down here. He said, not too long ago, a guy caught a eight pound bass. Ooh, I wanna cast right there. But he said a guy caught an eight pound bass on a lipless crankbait. So I decided to get a crankbait, of course. I mean, you have to. I don't know if you guys can see where that water is bubbling right there. That's where a lot of oxygen is right now though. So I'm gonna try and cast right around that. And of course, look at that bird nest. Okay, that is fun. Oh, this bird nest is terrible. God damn, I'm gonna have to unspool this entire thing. I really will have to unspool this entire thing just to get this worst experience with a bait caster to date. Look at this, the entire spool is gone and it's still bird nested. It'd be crazy if I had a fish on after this. All right, run number two. And it bird nested again. Literally the second cast I have the cast directly after the time I just fixed it. This is awesome. All right guys, so I'm now on the other side of this little pond. There's a waterfall right here, so I'm gonna cast into this area and hopefully we can get some fish. This place is a minefield for goose poop. Oh, oh, oh. This thing does it one more time. I'm taking it back up to the car and retiring it for life. Like it's kind of outrageous how I have to do this fucking every time. Oh, it's just stupid. You don't catch any fish. You have to deal with this bird nesting shit all the time. Good news is the crankbait looks amazing. <laughs> Bad news is crankbait ain't getting no hits today. All I need is one fish, man. That's all I'm asking for here. Are you telling me that crankbait's not enticing enough to them? Lies. It doesn't have to be a god cast. It just has to get out there and not bird nest. And I'll be happy every time I use this thing. I could feel that bird nest. I could feel it bird nest. Oh, and now it's stuck too. Oh, it's fucking wrapped around itself. That's just amazing. That is just incredible. Well, this thing's going back to the car now. Never using a fucking bait caster ever again in my entire life. I've had to pull in my crankbait like this twice now. All the line that I just bought is now gone. Just spent $20 on line and it's all gone now. All I wanted to do was catch a fish on my bait caster. Instead, this is what I fucking got. Well, I guess the title of this video is not gonna be why I hate bait casters. Just wasted $20. Let's walk back to the car is gonna be fun. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am livid. This shit right here is why I hate bait casters. All right, we're back with the Zebco 33 Authentic. And we're gonna give her a cast with a good old crankbait. Thank God it's not a King bait caster. See how much easier that was? Cake. And now I don't have to worry about a bird nest. Oh, I'm in the fucking weeds. Kill me. Look at this shit. Look at this. That's at least a footer. That's a 12 incher. Katie, baby, I know you hate me, but you're a little crazy, but you're so amazing. Won't you be my lady? I just miss you, baby. Won't you come and save me from this pain you gave me? Oh, man. It's a dead fish, but that's a big one right there. It's a catfish. You guys want to clickbait this? Here we go. In case you guys are wondering how my day's going, there you go. Just fell into a mudslide. That's awesome. Literally the only patch of mud, and that's where my shin was. Well, boys, look who broke the streak. I caught me tiny little smallmouth. Not a bad little fish. Caught her on the minnow swim shad in these rapids right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put her back in, and then we're going to go and cast for some more. There we go. She hit that like four or five times. I wish I would have gotten that on camera. That was awesome. Well, guys, I didn't catch any more fish at that spot, but we are back at the god spot that Noah caught his god fish at last time. So. I think that's where we're gonna end out the video. Regardless of if we catch fish, this is where we're ending the video. All right, so I was casting into this waterfall here and I literally just missed a bite right in front of me. So I decided to turn the GoPro on, cast it in about to the same area. I brought it in and we'll just bring it across these falls and see what we can get. I think I just missed a bite there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, look, I got hung, right, to a stick. That stick has a condom on it. Are you fucking kidding me? That stick has a condom on it. <laughs> Could you guys see that? That's a fucking condom. Look at that. Condom. Well, my best catch of the day was a fucking condom. That's amazing. Right here where my swim shot is. I'm gonna throw this in front of it and see if it'll hit it. Oh, 
what's chasing it. Oh my god, did you guys see that on the GoPro? Oh my god, that thing was chasing this. It fucking was right next to it. Oh my god, it's no wonder there aren't any smallmouth right here. For those of you who have been wondering where the baby gar has been this entire video, well, here you go. Unfortunately, I did not get any GoPro footage of me capturing this thing, but yes, I did actually catch it in a Taco Bell cup. As you can see, here's a picture of me driving it home, sitting in the cup holder. If you guys have any questions about the tank setup or anything like that, I just recently set it up, but I'm naming him Gary, and if you guys are excited to see more videos of Gary, be sure to hit the like button below, comment, rate, subscribe, do what you guys do, and I'll see you guys in the next one.